Okay, KB2MXV, I put a memory stick into the top of my SPA525. And what I did was, uh, when I'm on a call, uh, uh, this button here, the fourth button, switch now displays a record now message. So, uh, let me uh, let me just uh, have someone call me. Ham Shack hotline call coming in. Okay, so I'll answer the call. Ham Shack hotline call coming in. And watch what appears on this button. Record now. So I'll record this. You heard that beep? Both parties hear that beep so they know it's being recorded. Uh, KB2MXV, this is a test audio recording uh, phone call feature. KB2MXV, testing one, two, three, four, five. So all I have to do now is hang up. And if I go into menu and I go into call recordings, uh, here's the call that I just recorded. You heard that beep? Both parties hear that beep so they know it's being recorded. Uh, KB2MXV, this is a test audio recording uh, phone call feature. KB2MXV, testing one, two, three, four, five. So all and and there you go. That's how you can record a phone call if needed. Okay, so uh, when you log into your phone system, you want to go to uh, uh, admin logon in advanced, and you want to come over to this phone tab. <coughs> Excuse me. And down at the bottom, programmable soft keys, you want to enable them. That's usually no. You want to enable that. And what you're looking for is the connected key list. And that's uh, right here. And all I did was a uh, transfer. This number four was in the three spot, and I moved the uh, call record over to the from the four to the three slot. So this is what it actually uh, looked like before. This was the uh, the original uh, syntax, and I just replaced that with this syntax. Um, hope that helped. KB2MXV.